Hello, Alexander Elias here showing you my flowchart for the program Making Hot Chocolate. Uh, very basic. Um, in the uh, initial node here we have uh, all supplies are clean on the counter. We have our first decision, choose sauce, pot, or bowl. We have the two options of either using the stove or using the microwave, which lead to the same action. Um, well, lead to a act separate action and then lead to the uh, same action afterwards. We have choose sauce, pot, or choose large bowl. Leads to add two cups of milk to pot bowl. We next uh, go into the next decision we have, which is to choose solid chocolate or cocoa powder. We then have the basically same option. We have a condition of uh, cocoa powder or solid chocolate. Uh, these conditions lead to uh, two separate actions, which then flow into the um, next action, um, the same action, so that the process can continue. It's pour one half cocoa powder and one half sugar into pot bowl. Um, that's for cocoa powder. Um, condition. The other condition is solid chocolate. Cut three ounces or six tables, tablespoons, place into pot or bowl. Flow down to the uh, the joining action here. Mixing mix ingredients into pot or bowl. Then we have uh, two conditions. Whether you chose the uh, stove or the microwave, we have using microwave or using stove, depending on the bowl type also. We have uh, cho using microwave, place bowl inside of microwave, heat two minutes, flows into the joining action. And we have using stove, place pot on stove, heat four minutes on medium. Then we flow in and it's mix ingredients in pot bowl or bowl. Then we have another decision, decide if ingredients need to be heated more. If the ingredients do not need to be melted or hot, heat, oh, excuse me. If ingredients not melted or hot, heat for two minutes. Then we have the uh, flow in uh, joining action here, which is pour into mug. And we have the other condition, which is ingredients are melted and hot. Uh, remove pot, bowl from stove, micro microwave. Um, then we have the joining action here, pour into mug, and the final node. Um, one of my opinions on visual uh, notation of processes compared with uh, paragraph format um, is definitely visual notation really gives you a, uh, a better grasp at kind of what a process looks like. Um, paragraph notation can be rather jumbled and uh, uh, difficult to decipher what the writer was um, intending. Um, as you can see, I have a, a bullet point format here along with it to help assist. But I think um, they can complement each other um, if you use them both. Um, both the uh, visual notation, such as the flowchart here, or and uh, bullet point format or paragraph maybe a more paragraph format. Um, I think they would complement each other. They do complement each other when combined. Um, and uh, as you see here on the left, this is my this is my flow chart, all this. And then we have my bullet point format. And flow chart is simply um, just uh, symbols on a page in which uh, describe a process. And there's definitely a benefit in forming friendships with your classmates uh, so that they can provide feedback for you or you can provide feedback for them. Um, it's something uh, definitely vital even in the workforce. Um, eventually uh, it's necessary uh, for programming definitely and specifically for programming. Um,
because you can get tunnel vision in um, and get stuck in whatever you're doing. And yep, that's uh, my video. Uh, thank you very much.